My life is not the life I'm supposed to be living. Welcome to the Slushy Shack. How may I help you? Welcome to Slushy Shack. How may I help you? What? If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Reginald. You really like her, don't you? Maybe you should do something about that. Girls aren't exactly attracted to guys like me. Dude, you look like someone beat your dog to death with your cat. Reginald, Reginald, Reggie. Do you want to be ours? We're happy to share. When you say share, what do you mean? I'm okay. I'm okay. What a weird ass dream. Dude, where the hell have you been? Reginald. Have you noticed anything unusual about Reginald lately? There's something in that you're not telling me. What the what? Reggie, you're a vampire now. You turn me into an undead creature of the night. Pretty messed up. Right side. You kind of sucked at the whole being human thing anyway. Oh. You can make new vampire friends. I bet they have really cool social events. Welcome to the party. Like meet and greets. Vampires are weird. <laughs> Something evil has this way come. I'm going to find out what it is. <laughs> we can't just let anyone join our ranks. In order for you to be accepted, you will take part in the vampiric ability and assessment. What happens if I fail the assessment? Are you done? Not today, not today, not today. I want him dead. I adore bloodshed. She will murder everyone you've ever loved or known about. Surprise! And then she will get to work on you. Being a vampire is not all it's worked up to be. I don't want to be a monster anymore. I've met a lot of vampires in my day, but I haven't met anyone like you. Not vampire is defective, grotesque, and an insult to our purity. Also, I have a surprisingly dynamic love life. I want you deader than dirt. Every relationship has its challenges. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Sci-Fi's Reginald the Vampire premiering on Wednesday, October 5th. I had the pleasure of speaking with Jacob Batalon, the star, during the press junket. Here's that clip right here. Here we go. Hey, Kuya Jacob, great to What's see you, on, man. Bro? I fucking fuck you. I fucking dude, that's such a vibe. Reginald Van, I see you, my guy. <laughs> I appreciate you. G. Hey, definitely, man. Hey, the Filipino community are so proud of you right now. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, so, bro. on behalf of the community, man, uh, just definitely, I know everybody's gonna be excited once this drops. Uh, I've already had the blessing of checking it out. Um, so there's a bit of a weight on your shoulders, man. I'm sure you know yeah. you represent. We don't get <laughs> roles like this. We don't yeah, get we don't get like it. This. We don't get it at all. You know what I mean? I think, you know, obviously for us growing up, there was no one that really looked like us and, you know, much less be the be the main person. And so, I mean, it's been a great time. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm really hype. And, you know, people back home in, in Hawaii are super hyped, too. And I think that, um, you know, just just to carry that like that responsibility to, to really be the, a part of that narrative of us being seen and heard and respected is is very, very much, uh, I love it for sure. I love it. So my, my biggest question was, so I was mining as I was watching, yeah. when are we going to see some glimpse? When am I going to see a fork or a spoon on the wall? Just <laughs> anything. And I think we got a little bit at the restaurant. There was a mention of, I think your favorite dish. Um, did you have any input into that at all? Yeah. I mean, that? yeah, I feel like they absolutely asked my opinion on like what a sort of like easy stereotypical Filipino dish we could introduce to people to not scare them off. You know what I mean? And I would say that punsit and lumpia is probably the most basic thing you could feed somebody who has never had Filipino food before. Um, so yeah, that was sort of, that was sort of the vibes. And then again, like the show is really great about wanting it to be about like, you know, our culture and, and like representation and all that good shit. So um, for them to even have like Filipino actors be in the background and be like the waitresses and stuff like that was, was dope. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm super excited for you, man. We're screaming my buhai over here. And Salama. I wore this uh, Matsumoto's joint because of I Hawaii. see you, bro. You, I see you. <laughs> I love, bro. My G, thank you, man. Brandon?
the first one in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we have one or two people still joining, but um, we're just going to do a roundtable style conversation. Hi, Patrick. So you guys will ask one question at a time and I'll just call on you and we'll go through as many as we can. Um, so Liam, do you want to start? Sure. Yeah, that works for me. Hi, Jacob. How's it going? Hey, man. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'll start with a, a question that kind of blends your filmography together. Uh, obviously, yeah. modern audiences know you from the Spider-Man movies where you play a supporting character. In this show, you are full on the lead character. You are Reginald sure. the Vampire. Uh, yeah. How did you approach this series? Obviously, differently, different type of character. Yeah. Did you look to Tom for any advice on how to play a lead, stuff like that? You know, I, I feel like I... I'm not, I wasn't really looking for advice. You know, I, I feel like TH is very much a supportive person of me. Uh, like, obviously, my brother for life. But, you know, I feel like this is sort of a journey that I had to take on my own in, in a way that I watched a lot of great, successful people work and operate on movie sets. And I feel like I wa I learned a lot from watching and understanding. And, and I think that was sort of my journey. Um, but, you know, I... I, I I fucking love I, I love them all you know what I mean like without their sort of example for me to to follow I wouldn't know where to begin so I think in that sense I absolutely learned from a lot of them in that way for sure awesome thanks Jacob mm -hmm. um Patrick hey Kuya Jacob great to see you on, man bro? I fucking fuck you I fucking dude that's such a vibe Reginald Van I see you my guy <laughs> I appreciate you G. Hey, definitely, man. Hey, the Filipino community are so proud of you right now. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. So on behalf of the community, man, uh, just I know everybody's going to be excited once this drops. Uh, I've already had the blessing of checking it out. Um, so there's a bit of a weight on your shoulders, man. I'm sure, you know, yeah. you represent. We don't get <laughs> roles like this. We don't yeah, get we don't get like it. This. We don't get it at all. You know what I mean? I think, you know, obviously for us growing up, there was no one that really looked like us. And, you know much less be the be the main person and so i mean it's been a great time you know what i mean like I, i'm really hyped and you know people back home in, in hawaii are super hyped too and i think that um you know just just to carry that like that responsibility to to really be the a part of that narrative of us being seen and heard and respected is is very very much uh, i love it for sure i love it so my, my biggest question was so i was mining as i was watching yeah. When are we going to see some glimpse? When am I going to see a fork or a spoon on the wall? Just anything. And I think we got a little bit at the restaurant. There was a mention of, I think, your favorite dish. Um, did you have any input into that at all? Yeah, I mean, that? yeah, I feel like they absolutely asked my opinion on like what a sort of like easy, stereotypical Filipino dish we could introduce to people to not scare them off. You know what I mean? And I would say that punsit and lumpia is probably the most basic thing you could feed somebody who has never had Filipino food before. Um so yeah that was sort of that was sort of the vibes and then again like the show is really great about wanting it to be about like you know our culture and, and like representation and all that good shit so um for them to even have like filipino actors be in the background and be like the waitresses and stuff like that was was dope <laughs> yeah well i'm super excited for you man we're screaming my buhai over here and so i wore I'm this uh matsumoto's joint because of i Hawaii. see you bro i him, see man. you <laughs> that love bro my g thank you man brandon Oh, I need to unmute myself. Hi, Jay. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Good. I'm good. I'm good. I enjoyed the show. Congrats on the show. It Thank is so you, much man. fun. Oh, I um, appreciate it. And one of the cool things about the show is that, kind of speaking of what you were saying about getting the bringers representation out, is you're also a co EP on it. You're one of the major producers yeah. on the series. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is that. That's awesome. That's super exciting <laughs> to see. What, what about the series? Like, when you first kind of saw it come across your desk, what was it that made you not only want to be in it but want to be a part of it on this level uh you know i think it was a very great opportunity for me to sort of understand both sides of the camera you know i think working on spider-man obviously like i know a lot of what goes on behind but you know being in the internal workings of something uh definitely led me to like a better performance i would say i think that knowing both sides absolutely has helped me sort of like 
form Reginald into like what exactly we wanted to say and what we wanted to convey. So that was really great. Um, and then, you know, just like the opportunity to like, it was a really odd experience to like watch work and then work afterwards. It was very, it was interesting for sure. But then it was, it turned into like a whole thing where, you know, I just, I just got used to the idea of like being at work before my call time. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think that, I mean, it's helped me a lot in, in, you know, my other work as well. I'm doing movies right now where I'm very much conscious of, of other things like, you know, things that actors don't think about. So um, I think it's, it's paid a lot of dividends for sure. Dan. Congrats, Jacob, on this series. You, and you've man. been having a banner year for you so you, well done uh, just uh this show it's really it's presented as a vampire show but as you watch it and more episodes come out it's yeah. more than that it's a workplace comedy it's a romantic comedy Absolutely. it's an underdog story Absolutely. for that i mean what do you want viewers to take away from this show knowing that it's just yeah. so many genres wrapped up into one uh you know i, I would say that going with the theme of, of underdog, I would say that we are all the own, we are all our own heroes of our own story, right? We, we don't need Hollywood or society to tell us we need to be a certain way in order to, to win. And I think that, you know, we as like human beings like tend to, you know, as pop culture grows and as, as movies grow, we, we tend to gravitate toward these stereotypical ideas of what it means to be a hero. And um, I would say, we are all unique and different and special, and we all have things to offer the world that not everyone else can. So in that, with that in mind, I would say be your own best self is what I'd say the message should be. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Liam, one more question. Uh, sure thing. Jacob, you said in a prior interview that when you were in drama school, you tended to gravitate towards more of the darker, dramatic yeah. elements of yeah. Hollywood. And you've got to do a lot of comedy in your career so far. Exactly. And everything I've seen in the trailers, Reginald loves his sense of humor. But Absolutely. are we going to get any sort of dark side of Reginald at any point during the season? I would say, um, yeah, I would say that he, we get to see Reginald in every sort of facet in his life when it, when it, in terms of, um, you know, experiencing loss and experiencing overindulgence and the sort of like dark places it can take you to. I would say that it's more than being like a darker version of myself. It's more about understanding the levels as to why we get to that place as human beings. So I think that's more of the dramatic side of it, but I wouldn't say it's like, it's still a lighthearted show. I, I just think that, you know, we are able to like compact all those things into this type of show for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jacob. We're well, loving the show so far and Thank love you. your career as well. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thanks Take everyone. Care. Please Thank return you. to the main room. Um.